All right. So some of you might have seen some of the pictures I posted on social media of this, but we found this stone under a bunch of dirt. And it's an old patio. It was only like an inch or two deep. And the landlord didn't know why the grass wasn't growing. So here he is. All this concrete was keeping the grass from growing because it was real shallow. And from what I understand, nobody has seen this. So I made a post earlier that I wanted to do some work on it and maybe capture some video. And so here me is. So first, I'm going to get this I use a dolly for a lot of things instead of just a regular pry bar. It just makes life so much easier because it's just a gigantic pry bar. I'm going to go into the side. Try to the side. It's something my grandpa made. Two-piece chair. Okay. I'm going to clear this dirt out a little bit. Then I'm going to lift it. And you're going to put that underneath there. And go ahead and pick up backwards. Keep going. Okay. That made it a whole lot easier than just picking it up. All right, bring it back. Down. All right, there's one. Now let's get the other real quick. There's enough room for two. All right, bring it in. I'll make sure this stone doesn't fall. A little bit more. Just let it fall. Let there go. Yeah, you got a little. Scooch it back and forth. Go ahead and start lifting. Walk it. Okay, my fingers burned off that. Oh, that took some of the green off. You see it right there? Yeah, well, some of these stones were all beat up. Either someone went at it with a, a pick. When there was ice, so they put a bunch of salt on it. That and uh, burying concrete and dirt, vapor lock, and it can mess up the surface of the stones a little. All right. Well, let's see what we got underneath here. Let's hope there's a five by five, like I suspect. There might not be one right there. That might be it right here. But that's okay, because we can just put that one stone back. Yeah. Or, there's also a stone back there, too. Actually, if there's not a stone there, yeah? we can uh, put that other fire, the log thingy, next to that one. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any stone here. No. It might have been removed when they put this ad on here. One neighbor's been here for 26 years and never seen it. So, I'm assuming this is at least 30 years old or so, this add on. And that's what's going on. Did I hit start stream or record? Record. Okay. <laughs> I saw a chat move and I was like, wait a minute. All right, but this tool, I thought of this years ago. I'm sure someone's already thought of it and it just never would pass a patent office, I'm sure. Um, it used to be made to clean up uh, weeds when I was little as a punishment. And I thought, hey, this linoleum knife here does a pretty good job. And then I thought, hey, if I put it on a stick, I can have two hands on it instead of just one, and I can stand up, so I don't have to be on my knees. And this thing seems to work better than any edger I've seen, because of a little tight point here. 
It's right in these grooves. Let's see. So I'm going off of this image here. And it's going to curve around like so. And you just kind of dig in real light because this stone is real sus. It just wants to break and chip. So I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. But you can go this, put this in on sidewalk cracks and get weeds out of them too. Which is really nice. So there might have been a, this sitting in a patent office somewhere years and years ago, I would assume. But it just seems like too dangerous of a tool. I figured if it's not going to make an invention, it could make a great 5-10 minute craft for the right person as long as you're really careful with how you make it. And I just want to show it in action while I finish uncovering the stones. Just getting long edges here. I might have to do this a few times. You wouldn't be able to get an edge in here along these edges. It's like a spade. Most of you would know what that looks like. If you clicked on this looking for landscaping, if you're a landscaper, do yard work, construction stuff. So, just one stone. I was actually thinking if any of these stones need uh, replacing or fixing or in this situation where we're missing some, we do have those out there. You can take three of those and we'll have like a three-prong look instead of that uh, square edge there. And what a find though. This stuff's so cool. Take ooh. Take two and then take one of them and break it in half. And Ooh. put it so that there's a flat edge. You might be able to do that. It might not break so well, though. Maybe. Uh, maybe with the right chisel. With the right work. But this um, this hasn't been seen in 30 years. It could be 40 years old. Or 50 older. years old. Definitely something they used to do back in the 60s and 70s. Not in like the 80s or 90s. Colorful, crazy designs like this only popular again now everything's been so bland for years all right so went along the edges oh wrong way might as well just push it all this way Stones coming right on that, and all those lines. Now I can kind of get a little bit deeper and more vigorous with this tool here on these edges. Now I know I'm not gonna scrape and break any corners. Stone. Okay. I've just been taking this dirt and using it to fill in low spots and where roots are around the yard. Sometimes I have other linoleum knives, like hand knives. I'm just afraid of messing them up. <laughs> Obviously, this is going to destroy your knife pretty quick. But working with dirt and stone is going to do that to even your shovel. So. After all this, you get the top bit done. I can use the um, leaf blower to clean out these lines. Yeah, Got some stone in here. Oh, I forgot to get this edge here. But yeah, that sure beats crawling around on your knees, though. At least the whole time. Yeah, this 
that did get a little messed up. But that's okay. Got some dirt that's upheaved, overlapping. Get that out of there. Could just use a shovel right here. Oh, that's it for the quarter stones, too. I think. Yep, that's just a rock. Okay. I'm going to move these border stones. I'm not sure. I might be able to move these stones back and they might fit or I'll just put them at an angle and that will make them shorter slightly by default and they might fit here. They might not. Be cool if they do. Flatness there. I don't even need the tool for this part right here. Just go along the edge. Ooh, that one chipped really bad. It is what it is. So this one's gonna swoop in here. And we see a point right here. There we go. Alright. I didn't make a video for the whole entire project because I had to do it in pieces and parts. Couldn't do it all at once. Whew. Right. After this, do it like that. Oh, roots out. Now, it's going to get a little loud, maybe. We might try to edit this out, edit in some sound later. Ooh, might even speed it up. It didn't take very long, as you can see. Where was that spot at? Oh, right here. Yeah. That's kind of bothering me. In fact, I'm sure smooth this excess dirt up real quick. I'll probably put that stone back in. Off to the side. Do you think you could? No, you probably couldn't put both of them over there. That's it for now. That stone's all beat up. Like I said, might be replacing those with these ones. Over here. 
one, two, three, maybe. I think. But that's the result. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. So you would take this one, because this one would have to go next. Because it's green. And then this one would have to go. And originally. And then this one could be cut in half. Uh-huh. And put there. So well, the, will still the one thing that I was thinking that's making me sad now, we got a beat-up green one. And a beat up beige one and a beat up green one here. And that's three normal looking, I mean, aged ones that could go back there. Or to replace or these. Those could replace those. And we could just take the other three and put two there and just have an extra one. Hmm. Take it down a row. Yeah. This is a really cool find, though. All right. Guess that's it.